Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Calliope and I'm going to be taking a look at your face today, all right? How are you feeling? Okay, a little freaked out. Yes, I can imagine. So, let me just get a little bit of paperwork out of the way and then we will start figuring out what's going on here, okay? All right, would you mind just confirming your name for me? Excellent, thank you. And your date of birth? Mm -hmm. Very good. And is that your preferred name? And how do you like to be addressed? Okay. Very good, all right. So, would you mind telling me a little bit in your own words about what I'm seeing you for? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And when exactly did that start? Okay. A few days ago. All right, and have there been any other symptoms besides the redness, the spotting, and the texture change? Any itching? No? Okay, any swelling? No. Any tingling? Okay, and you said there's been a bit of flaking, right? Okay. So that's in addition to the raised texture. Okay. Very good. All right. And do you have anything else besides this issue going on right now? Any illness or injury or anything? Okay. All right. And any changes to your medical history that we have on file? Okay. And what about your family history? Any changes there? Right. And allergies. Is there anything in particular other than what I have listed down that you might be allergic to? And any medications? Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, well, that's not exactly a medication per se, but that is a new product that you've introduced, and that most certainly may have some contribution into why you're having this issue now, okay? We'll take a closer look and we'll make sure we'll either rule that out or hone in on that, all right? Okay, so let me go ahead and just pop on a pair of gloves, all right? So, from this point onwards, I am going to need to be touching you. I pretty much will only be touching your face, perhaps around your hairline, your ears. I might get down into the neck area, just kind of depends on the extent of your particular malady, okay? So, is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? and get a little bit of a closer peek, okay? So, 
right now I'm just going to be looking at you just my eyes, okay? so you said that you started this I'm just going to call it a new product. You've started this new product in your skincare regimen how many days ago? Okay, about five, all right. And how often have you been using that? And is that what the instructions say? Okay, that's interesting. All right. Did it mention anything about possibly an acclimation period? Mm hmm. Yeah, oftentimes when we start a new product, we have an acclimation period where our skin is acclimatizing to that new product. Otherwise, sometimes we can have some real, real odd things happen. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to just, I'm just going to look at your hairline here. I'm seeing a little bit of that redness and those bumps kind of crawl up there. Okay. So, I'm just going to be seeing how far back that goes, if you don't mind. Okay. So, I'm just going to pull the hair back here. Okay. It doesn't look... It doesn't look like it goes back very far at all. Maybe a couple centimeters at most. So, that's good. That's a good clue. So I imagine if it was your skincare product, you're not putting it in your hair on purpose, right? And what about around by your ears there? Okay, so it stops right about here. So it doesn't get as far as your ears is also good. And the other side here. Oh. All right, so it doesn't go past the preauricular area, which is good. And if you wouldn't mind just tipping your chin up, down. Do you put it on the neck as well? That product you were talking about? A little bit. Okay. So you can go ahead and put your head back to a neutral position. I'm just going to follow this trail down. Down, 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 down. So right about here. Is that where is that where your product tends to stop? Okay. Right just above the clavicle line here. There's not a lot of red bumps here, which doesn't surprise me as oftentimes when we're putting product on our necks, it's just the it's just the little bit that's left on our fingers, right? We're just smoothing down. But the skin on our neck is very sensitive as well. Just as much as our face. Okay. Let me bring out the magnifying glass and our little light here. There we go. Just want to get a closer look. Yeah, I can see why you would be a little freaked out. The 
you maybe it'd be like chicken pox or something <laughs> but these are just little raised bumps you haven't told me anything about any pain has there been any pain while I've palpated those areas no nothing Do you have pretty sensitive skin, then? You didn't think so? <laughs> okay. That's alright. Some people's skin is just more sensitive to certain things than others. For example, I notice a lot of people come in here that have some skin allergies to for example, essential oils, which can sometimes be found in certain natural skincare products, right? And I've even seen people that were allergic to some ingredients in lip balm, and that's pretty scary too. Everybody's skin is very different. It's quite clear, isn't it, that every single person reacts to something different, or perhaps has no reaction at all. It's very strange, but very interesting. Quite a testament to every person's individuality and uniqueness. Hmm. Let me get a look at your neck here. And yes, these, these little bumps there, it's more almost like just raised flesh. Not seeing any sort of head to it. And where did you mention that flakiness was? Okay, so more, more around temples, so kind of the outsides of your face. Okay. outer parts, but then it stops right about here. Okay. I'm just going to take a few notes regarding my observations, all right? You have chicken pox, which is very good. It's much harder when you get that as an adult as opposed to a child. But I think with what you've told me about the new skin product, and what did you say that did again? Okay, so all right, exfoliating. So that definitely tells me that 
your skin could be rebelling against you because of this product, especially since you've said you've been putting it on twice a day, right? So with exfoliants, we have to be careful about it. With exfoliants, we are taking away the top layer of skin generally. We're sloughing away the dead skin. And when we do that too much, that obviously will bite into that newer, nicer skin. And that's a little too much, right? Now, what I'm thinking about this flaking right around here, down here, that little area, I think that when you've been putting it on, you haven't been going as far to the edge of your face, and that part is starting to heal, okay? So, just like a sunburn, right? You have your real, real red inflamed skin, and as it heals, it starts to flake, and it starts to reveal the newer healed skin underneath, right? best we can do for that. It's gonna look pretty bad for a little bit. I wouldn't say more than a couple weeks, but it's gonna flake a lot. And the best thing you can do is moisturize, okay? That's gonna be the key to reducing the appearance, and that's also going to help your skin heal that much more, okay? So... You said none of this was itchy, right? There's no itching? Okay, so if it would itch, you could use a small amount of hydrocortisone cream. Just the stuff you pick up at the pharmacy, right? Just a little bit. And that could help with that itching, but if you're not feeling any itching, I wouldn't put anything on it besides moisturizer. And when I mean nothing on it, I mean nothing, okay? You could do a very gentle cleanser, all right? Nothing too stripping, but otherwise, I want to see basic cleanser and a good moisturizer, okay? want to see any exfoliants. I don't want to see any toners. I don't want to see anything that's going to be potentially harsh on your skin because then that's just going to restart that process all over again, okay? So after your skin has healed, we're going to wait a little bit longer to exfoliate. A lot of those exfoliants you can do, some people can do every day if they have real superhuman skin, but it's best to do it about two to three times a week. You can do more, of course, after you've acclimatized your skin and after you've made sure you're not going to have a reaction, okay? And if you do, then you, you stop. You stop the frequency. But I think with the amount that you've been doing here, when we get back to your skin being a little more normal, then we're going to do once a week, then maybe we'll work up to twice a week, you know. We're going to have to work with it a little bit. Skin's persnickety. And there are so many things that can throw it off. And we just want to work with that, okay? All right, so I do have some things that I can use on your skin to reduce that flaking, okay? So it's just a little dropper bottle here, okay? I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to grab a cotton bud. And we're going to really dab the worse areas 
ones on your forehead, around your nose and your chin. We're going to dab a little bit more of that product in and then we'll go ahead and buff in the rest, okay? Just dab that on there, okay? Dab, 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 dab. Right, and you let me know if there's any burning, any irritation, okay? I'll be watching to make sure there isn't any redness that immediately comes up. Okay, this is very gentle. It's just basically a moisturizing serum very basic but that's going to help soften that flaking okay just dab a little bit there we go beside the mirrors tends to be pretty sensitive. It's a very odd spot. It catches a lot of things, but is also one of the more sensitive areas. Dabbing. Just gentle dabs around that area. Okay. Are you feeling any sort of reaction at all? Your skin certainly hasn't turned any more red than it is. I promise you it will go away. I wouldn't touch it or pick at it or anything, okay? Do your best not to do that. The less it's irritated, the less it's going to revolt again and take more time to heal. plans for your week. Yeah. That's interesting. Me? I've got a week full of binge watching New Girl and reading in my sitting room and giving snuggles to my cat. Yeah, super exciting. But sometimes there's, you know, I'd actually call that a pretty, a pretty ideal week. Just the mundane. It is quite nice to go out and do things, but as I get older, I really just value comfort and being comfortable. There's nothing like a good home-cooked meal and sitting on the couch with someone you love and just hanging out. That's ideal for me. <laughs> Didn't mean to derail the conversation. All right, so let's go ahead and get another cotton bud and this time I'm going to be just swiping a bit of product around your face and then we'll work it in.
see how far that goes. We'll see if we need any more. Okay, so I'm just going to come in and I'm going to very gently work that product in. Okay. not using any pressure at all. feeling okay? Just want to make sure. If at any point it becomes uncomfortable, you just let me know. get a new cotton bud with some of that serum. We'll go ahead and just go down your neck. When you get home, I want you to put that skin product in a drawer where you're not going to grab it on autopilot. And when everything cleans up and your skin is looking a lot less angry, we can talk about how to bring that into your skincare routine it's possible that you just overworked the skin. It's also possible it was an allergic reaction, but if you really, really, really want to use it, we can do a little bit of testing, okay? You can do little patch tests and figure out if we can bring that back in, okay? If it doesn't matter to you, then you can just get rid of it, but I know there's a lot of people that have some sunk cost fallacy, right? You spend a lot of money or you spend a lot of time. Should be fairly quick, but just give it a minute.
alrighty, so Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, okay Sure, you want me to look at a mole, right? Where is that at? Okay, so it's pretty accessible <laughs> Alright, so on your arm here so let's take a look at that. Let's grab my light here. Okay, so are there any particular reasons that you're worried about this one? Okay, so it's fairly recent. All right. Okay, let me just test the size there. So it's definitely smaller than a pencil eraser, that's good I'm just going to feel that there It's got a little bit A little bit of a raised edge to it, not, not too much Borders look pretty neat. Okay. Just, just going to palpate around that a bit. Any pain or discomfort? No. Okay. All right. So there's not necessarily anything that I would be worried about at this point When we're looking at moles, we really want to look at if there are any recent changes Which you said this one has appeared recently, so it's good that you are looking out for that We want to look at changes in size or if it's bigger than the size of a pencil eraser on the end of a lead pencil We want to look at any changes in color This one is just Just a dark brown. There's just the one color. There's not any other shades and We want to look at the borders. We want to look if there's any uneven edges Okay, or any change in the borders So it's a good thing that you brought this up I'm not worried about it just yet, but what I want to do So I'm just gonna go ahead and We're gonna mark this and I'm gonna take a picture of it. Okay, so that we have a record of What it looks like now and if there are any changes and if there are, then we can go ahead and go from there and remove it, find out if there's any sort of cancer with it, okay? So, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the cap off and let's go ahead and make a big circle Right? Tedious. Right, and let's take a picture. Okay. So I'm gonna have you hold still, okay? Just wanna get this in focus. And one, two, three. Good. Okay. I'm gonna take two more. Very good. So we have those 
photographed. Um, now this marker will just wash off with soap and water, okay? It's not permanent marker. Just wanted you to know I didn't just mark you up for funsies. So I'm gonna note that down that we took a look at that. So now we have a little record of what it looked like and the growth of it and if there's any change to it, then we can go from there, okay? Alright, anything else I can help you with then? Okay, so I want to see you back here. Let's check on you in one week. And then, depending on how things go, we'll either do another follow-up for a week, and if things have gotten worse at all, you go ahead and call us and we'll get you in right away, okay? And we'll do more testing, see if there's something else going on. Again, stop using that product, okay? We're only using basic cleanser, like just your milky, cetaphil kind of cleanser, CeraVe, what have you, okay? And moisturizer, nice good moisturizer, right? So, any questions for me? Okay, all good? Alright, so let's follow up in a week. And the receptionist will get you taken care of with that. Y'all can decide the day and time, all right? I'm just gonna go ahead and sign off. Okay. And that'll do it, all right? So I really hope this clears up for you pretty soon. I would say definitely under two weeks, okay? might take at least a few days for you to start really seeing any difference and with the moisturizing, the flaking should go down, okay? Alright, thank you so much for coming to my office for this examination. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night.